Hi everyone, today I will show you WooCommerce card page customization tutorial. So let's begin. Alright, so how can we customize the card page in WooCommerce? That is really easy. First, you need to go inside the plugins and you have to click on add new plugin. And here you have to search for code designer plugin by code expert. Okay, so we have to install this. And now let's just click on activate. Alright. So now we have to refresh the page. Alright, so right now we are inside the dashboard of Code Designer. So here we have to click on the widgets. Alright, so here in the widgets, you will be able to see different sections here. So the first one is the shop, second one is the filter, single product, and the others. And after that, you're gonna see price table, related products, image gallery, and card. And after that, we have checkout and email. Alright. So says we only want to do the customization on our card page. So that is why I would only enable the options that we have in the card section. So let's enable these options. And the last option is the floating card, but that is the part of the pro version. Okay, so now you can see this. We have enabled every option or every widget that we have in the card. So let's click on save settings. All right. So after this, what you need to do? You have to go inside the pages and you can see this we have this page card okay so i have to click on view all right so i need to do some shopping now so let's just add some clothes here this one all right so as you can see this the product has been added so let's click on it and click on view card and now you will be able to see that this is how our card page is looking okay so now we're going to customize this so let's click on edit page. Now let's click on edit with Elementor. All right, so now you'll be able to see that we have our card here. So if I just click on this, you only have the short code here. Okay, so if I just remove this, you won't be able to see your card design here. So I'm going to simply remove everything from here. So now I have to delete this. All right, so now what we can do here, we can simply start designing our card. So here I'm going to add the container. So in the container, I would go here with the two column structure. So in the first one, I would like to have the image that I can use as a logo for our company or something like this. So let's add the image, click on the choose image and you will be able to see the logo here. So I'm going to simply choose this and click on select. All right, so I think I need to give the background color here. So that would be black color. All right, so here what I need to do, I have to increase the size of our image. All right, so now this is looking better. And now what I need to do, I have to put this into the center. So let's click on our main container, go into the layout. And here what we need to do, we have to align items. So let's click on center here. Now you will be able to see our logo here. Okay, and here I can simply put any text. So let's add the heading here. So this will be card or something like this or anything that you want to put here. But right now I'm going to simply put the card and here i will change the color of the text now this is looking better and what i need to do i have to add some padding on our image maybe so let's go into our container and here let's just go into the advanced setting and add some padding here okay so let's go here with 20 maybe now this is looking good or we can go here with 15. this is looking better and i would basically change the width of our column so let's change it here and I think this is looking better and what I can do here let us just go into the image and I would like to decrease the size of the image all right so this is looking fine all right so now let's just put this onto the left side okay so this is looking better now all right so now what we'll do is simply add the elements that we have in our plugin so let's go back and here you're gonna simply write down card Okay, so here you can see this, we have the card item, we have the card item classics and we have the card overview. So these are the options and also the copying. So if I just write it down and we also have the copying form in our plugin. Okay, but right now I'm going to go here with the card. All right, so let's just drag this and put this here. And you will be able to see our card here. Okay, so now you can see this, this is looking really great. And the important thing here is that we have a lot of the options for the customization. So for example, if you want to have the thumbnail picture that you can see here, 
you can simply enable this otherwise you can simply disable this but right now i would like to have this and you can also change the heading here of the text okay so you can see here we have the thumbnail here and here you can simply write down image or something or whatever you would like to add here okay so after this we have the own functionality so if you want to have this you can simply have this from here all right so after this we have the product section we have the category we have the pricing we have the quantity subtotal and remove button all right so you can simply enable and disable any of these options from here so for example right now what i want to do i don't want to add the subtotal here okay so i'm going to simply disable the subtotal all right and i would have the remove button okay so after this what do we have we have the bottom sections so let's click on the bottom sections so in the bottom section you can see this we have the copen area we have the update button and we have the proceed to checkout button so you can simply customize the button text from here of all of these options and if you want to disable any of these options like for example the copen area i would simply disable this but if you want to have this then i would simply enable this and in the last we have the empty cart notice all right so right now in the empty cart notice you can see this the content source is nothing so in the content source we have show nothing so it simply means that when you don't have anything on your cart it will show nothing but if you want to have some text or if you want to show the template or something like this you can simply select it from here so right now i'm going to go here with the static text so in the static text you can simply add all right so it text is added only if the cart is empty okay so i think this is looking fine and now let's go inside the style so in the style you can see that we have the background type and we have the border type we have the box shadow padding margin and everything and we also have the, a lot of the different options here so you can see here we have the table heading we have the product image title and product category price quantity so let's just explore one by one so if i just click here on let's just say i wanted to change the background color here i'll write down the color and now you'll be able to see that we are having the different color here okay so from here you can simply decide which color you want to put in the background okay so i'm going to go here with the white color and after this you have the border type so let's change the type here so that would be solid and i would like to add one width or maybe we can go here with okay so i'm going to go here with the one width and you can add the color here so i'll go here with the black color or a kind of grayish color yeah this is looking perfect and similarly i can also add the border radius okay so after this we have the table heading so let's click on this so in the table heading we have the text color we have the typography and the background type or the background color that you can change from here okay all right so i think i would like to change the typography here so i like to add some width to our text so i would like to change this to the bold and now you will be able to see that we are having bold text here but let's just settle for 600 yeah this is looking fine all right and after this we have the product image so in the product image you have the product width you have the height you have the image box side and you can also see these other options here so i simply like to add the border radius here all right so i would like to add 5 px now this is looking fine okay and after this we have the product title we have the product category so i would like to change the color of the product category here so let's change the text color so i would go here a kind of maybe this color that we have on our proceed to checkout button all right so this is looking fine so after this we have the product price so if i just click on this you will be able to see we have the font color and the typography same goes for the quantity so in the quantity we have the border radius pairing and the font color and you can also see these other options here so we have the remove button all right so here in the remove button you can see this we have the icon we have the icon color and you can also see these other options so we also have the copy button so if you wanted to customize this you can customize this from here all right so here i would like to change the copy color so let's click on the background color and i will go here with the white color and same goes for the update button so let's click on the update card button and let's just go here with the background color that would be white but i would need to add the border here so it would be solid it would be 1px now this is looking fine okay so after this we have the checkout button and we also have the empty card notice so if you want to customize these options you can simply do this okay and now one thing that we need to do here we have to go back so if i just add the copy form here 
you will be able to see this copy and code here but since it is already added here so that is why I won't be adding it here so if you wanted to change the text or the placeholder or the button you can simply do this so in the last I'm going to write down cart and you can also see the cart overview so I would like to add this and now you'll be able to see our cart overview and you can see this we have the heading so if you want to show the heading you can simply do this and if you wanted to keep the button proceed check out you can simply enable this and after this we have the style so in the style you can see this we have the section title we have the table we have the table content and proceed button so you can simply change the styling of any of these options from here okay but right now I'm going to go with the default values here with the card total so now let's click on update and now let's just go back to our pages let's just click on our view page now you'll be able to see our customized checkout page okay so one thing that I need to do here I will need to go back and I will go inside the settings and here I would like to hide the title let's just update this now let's just go back refresh the page now you can see this we have the logo of our website and we have the text here and you can see this this is how our customized card page is looking in WooCommerce so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel